This is a slow moving flow that stretches out the whole body. And I promise um, it's suitable for everyone. Um, and if you do it and you're like, it's not suitable for me, write it in the comments because I think it is. <laughs> Enjoy. Today, we're gonna start on our backs. So make your way down. Oh, in any way that feels good. Lay your back down on the mat. Maybe stretch out the arms, the legs. A little bit of movement, twiddling of fingers, toes. Maybe bring the knees into the chest. Just a bit of movement before you settle. And then bring the feet down as wide as the mat, knees cave in towards each other. So feet as wide as the mat, knees knock in together. You could take your legs out long if this doesn't feel comfy for you, anything goes. Snuggle your shoulders underneath you. And you can lay your hands out to the side, or I'm gonna connect right hand to belly, left hand to heart. I'm having a day where I feel annoyed and frustrated and angry and a bit sad at my body. <laughs> I'm sure that you know what I mean, those sort of days. And so I find it super handy to connect myself as kind of um, challenging as it can be to touch, <laughs> to touch your own body, which sounds ridiculous in itself. It can be really hard, right? And I'm kind of forcing myself to, to really be with myself right now. So maybe you do the same. Close down the eyes if that feels okay and start to take some really deep breaths. In through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. And then just bring that breath back to something more steady in and out through the nose as you start to settle. And can you just give yourself a moment to see what's going on in your head today? Maybe like me, there's tons of different emotions and feelings, but maybe there's not. Maybe there's one or two that are really sticking out. Maybe there's not really that much, but can you just be with whatever is there? Something that we so rarely do or give ourselves the chance to do. Take one more breath here. and then really gently flicker open the eyes. Bring the knees or separate the knees. Slide those feet kind of hip width apart. We're gonna release the hands. Bring the left knee in towards the chest. So hug that left knee in. Just place your hands over the shin and just really squeeze it in, hug it in. And then we're gonna cross left ankle over right thigh. Flex that left foot and then bring this shape in towards the body. So hands interlace behind the right thigh and bring this shape in. I like to flex my right foot too. So flexing both feet. And you're kind of letting that left elbow, left elbow, left thigh, left knee <laughs> go out as far as it feels good. Kind of opening it up. But can you keep your sacrum and like the top part of your bum as secure to the ground as possible? So you've really got a flat back it's pressing down into the ground. Maybe you can still snuggle that shape in a little further, really anchoring your shoulders down towards the mat. Take a deep breath here. And then release the interlace of the hands. We're gonna take that shape, so keep the feet the same way, take that shape over to the right. So that left foot might come down to the ground. Maybe you take your hands out to a cactus here and you might gaze over the left fingers. Sit way and just take a breath here. Just easing your body in today. 
<laughs> if you're like me and these kind of quieter bits and these silences and lack of movement are feeling like a lot and like your mind is just zipping over all sorts of things, that's totally okay. I'm right here with you, right? Gently bring that shape back in. Release that left foot and bring both feet down to the ground. And just kind of wiggle your hips from side to side, maybe a little roll of the shoulders. And then let's take it to the other side. So let's hug this right knee into the chest, squeeze it in. Really squeeze and then cross that right ankle over left thigh, flexing that right foot, opening that right knee out to the side. And then bring that shape in towards you, maybe flexing both of your feet now, rolling those shoulders back and down. Just taking what you need here. So it might be a bit looser. You might even keep that foot connected to the ground or you might be hugging it really close into the body. Anything goes. And then gently release that interlace, maybe bringing your hands to that cactus shape and bring this shape, this leg shape, all the way over to the left. Maybe gazing back over that right hand, just finding this twist as we start to open up. Really anchor those shoulders down into the mat and just take your time. Maybe pressing that right knee and thigh a little further away from your body. And then gently lift that shape all the way up back into center and bring the knees into the chest. Just give yourself a little hug. And then separate the knees out. Bring your hands up the inside of the legs. They catch a hold of little toe side of feet or even ankles if that feels more comfortable. And then press those soles of the feet up towards the ceiling. Find your happy baby. And just imagine, even if it's literally just for this probably 20 seconds that we're going to be here, imagine that you are a baby. You're a literal happy baby. And you can just hang here with nothing to worry about except when that next meal is going to be. Oh yeah. And then really gently bring the knees in, wrap the hands behind the thighs and just take a couple of rocks and rolls up. You can always roll yourself over to one side and bring yourself up if that feels better. But otherwise, take those little, that little massage down the spine. And then once you do come up, we're going to find a child's pose. So bring your knees as wide as the mat. And then sink your hips, your bum back towards your heels as you lay yourself out long. No need to really have super active arms stretching out here unless you want them. Relax those shoulders and just let yourself sink down into the mat. Deep breath. And then gently look up towards your fingertips. Walk your hands over to the right. So you're kind of twisting over to the side. And then can you kind of bring your elbows down to the ground or the mat? And then can you bring your hands as you bow your head to the back of your neck? And it might be that then you can snuggle that left elbow forward a little. You can get a nice little stretch through the body. This might not feel good for you. It might feel better to have your arms out straight. Anything that feels good. You might be closer to the center. You might be further out to the right. We're all so different. Please don't worry if your body doesn't look like mine or if it's not doing the same as mine. It's all good. And then gently release those hands out long. Walk them back to the center and then take it over to the left. Taking those hands down and then bringing those elbows down. Maybe bringing hands to the back of that neck and then maybe walking that right elbow a little further forward. Only if it feels good. Keep your breaths deep here.
and then gently release your arms out. Start to walk your hands back to center. Look towards your fingers, lift up to your knees, kind of bring them in a little so they're under your hips. Tuck your toes and lift your hips high, downward facing dog. And just take a little shake of the head side to side, a little nod, maybe some little steps out through the feet. Just bringing yourself into this shape. And then start to walk all the way up towards your hands. One foot at a time, making it all the way to the top. And just bringing your feet hip width as you dangle yourself down here. Shift those hips over the heels. You can have a big old bend in your knees as you just release yourself down. Now tuck your chin into your chest and roll yourself up as slowly as you can, bringing your arms wide and up as you come to the top. Really reach it out, as much space between fingers and toes as you can. And then send your bum back, send your arms out to the side as you fold it back down. As you take a breath in, lift your hands to shins, find a little lift. Exhale, release it down, folding here. Inhale, bring your arms wide, reach it up, send them high. Exhale, send your bum out, hands out, fold it back down. Inhale, hands to shins, find that half lift, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, release it down. Inhale, rise, bring the arms high. Exhale, take them wide, send the bum back, fold it back down. This is the last time we're gonna move on after this. Inhale, hands to shins, find a little lift. Exhale, release it down. And this time we're gonna step right and left foot back to downward facing dog. But then can you lower the knees, bring the hands underneath your shoulders so you're in an all fours position. And we're gonna find a cat cow. So as you inhale, lower your belly, roll your shoulders back, lift the head. Exhale, press through those fingers as you scoop your spine all the way up to the ceiling. Inhale, drop belly, roll shoulders back, lift the head. Exhale, press that spine back in the other direction. One more time each way. Inhaling to drop the belly, roll shoulders back. Exhale, take it back the other way. And then bring it back to a neutral spine. Send those hands out a little in front of the shoulders. Tuck your toes, lift your hips high, downward facing dog, and just start that walk again all the way up to the top of the mat. Yes. Reaching the top where you're dangling down. Inhale, lift your hands to shins, find a half lift. Exhale, release it down and then bring your arms wide. Send it all the way up, lovely. Exhale, press your bum back. Send your arms wide, fold it down. Inhale, hands to shins. Find a little lift, exhale, release. And then we're gonna step left and right foot back to downward facing dog. Lower the knees, bring the hands underneath the shoulders and find that cat cow again. Inhaling to lower the belly, roll the shoulders back, lift the head. Exhale, press the spine up towards the ceiling. Sometimes it's so comforting to move through these poses that we know pretty well and know, like move through these routines that we know because it just kind of, that routine and structure can help chill us out. Got a lot of time for like moving meditations. Just take this the last time each way and then come back through center, neutral spine, walk your hands in front of your shoulders, tuck your toes, reach your hips high, downward facing dog. Now inhale, reach your right leg high and exhale, step your foot through between your hands. Might take a couple of steps, as many times as you need, lower that back knee. So we're in this lunge. 
Now, if you have got blocks and you kind of like to prop yourself up with those blocks and have hands on either side, then be my guest. I kind of purposefully don't want to use them today for those who don't know that they can still access this and it's all okay. We're going to start to straighten this front leg. You might walk your hands back towards the body. You might lift those right toes, roll the shoulders back, lift the chest, and then walk it back forward. Bend the knee, find that lift as you open up to the front. Take it back, lengthen the leg. And you've kind of, you're trying to get a flat spine here, so you're pressing the bum back, lifting the chest. And can you kind of wrap that right hip back behind you to kind of square off the hips? And then bend it forward. Sorry, loads of instructions I'm hurling at you <laughs> while we're moving through these quite fast. We'll have an opportunity to sit in this a little more, so don't you worry. <laughs> And then the next time that you come forward, bring that left hand down to the mat. You're gonna reach your right arm high, so you're twisting to the right. You could if you would like to, if you want a little bit of extra spice, then tuck those back toes, lift that back knee. But wherever you are, can you bring as much space into this twist as possible? Roll that right hip back, really reach it out. And then release the right hand all the way back down. If they're not already, tuck those back toes. Can you send this right leg all the way back to a three-legged dog? Yeah. <laughs> so you're in your downward dog, but with your right leg lifted. And then step it all the way back through. <laughs> Lower that back knee. Lovely. May seem unnecessary, but a nice little stretch. Nonetheless, we're going to gently straighten this front leg. So finding that half Hanumanasana again, that half split shape that we found before. But we're going to take a little more time. So feel free to walk your hands back, roll those shoulders back, press the bum back, wrap this right hip back and round. So that you're kind of really sending your chest as far forward as possible, not just kind of caving it down, really reaching it up. Take one more breath here. I find this one really, really intense. And then we're gonna to start to walk our hands over to the right hand side. If you're using blocks here, you can walk your blocks over too. Can you take your right toes to the side? So that foot is almost coming to rest on the side. And then peel that right hip back and you should feel, well, you, I feel all sorts of different stretches going on in my different legs. <laughs> Let's see what you feel. Really pull that right hip back. Keep a little lift in the chest. And then gently bring those toes back up. Walk the hands back and forward. And we're gonna step back to our downward facing dog. Lovely. As you take a breath in, reach forward into your plank. So find shoulders stacked on top of your wrists, lower those knees and send the elbows back as you lower yourself all the way down to the floor. Bring your hands just in front of your shoulders as you inhale to peel yourself up, roll the shoulders back, find that cobra. Can you really roll your shoulders back and down so you're really releasing them away from the ears. Take a deep breath here. Press your hips down to the mat and then exhale, roll it back down. Hands underneath shoulders, inhale, press up to your knees, tuck your toes, lift your hips high, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath here and release it out. Inhale, lift your left leg, reach it up and step it through as many steps as you need to place it through between the hands. Lower that back knee. Now let's find that kind of movement again. So roll the shoulders back, lift the chest, and then exhale, straighten the leg. Maybe bring the toes up towards you. Inhale, bend it forward. Find that lift, exhale, straighten. Maybe walking those hands back to keep that flat back. Inhale, bend, lift the chest. Exhale, straighten. One more, like this. Inhaling to bend. And final straighten here, this time round anyway. 
<laughs> come back to that bend, plant that right hand down and lift that left arm, really stretch it up. Maybe you tuck those back toes and lift that back knee, but it's so not necessary. Wherever you are creating the space between those right fingertips and left fingertips, really stretching it out. And then release that left hand all the way down. Tuck your back toes and lift that knee if they're not already. And can you lift this left foot all the way up? Three-legged dog. Yes. Then step it all the way back and through. Lower that right knee. And then roll the shoulders back. Press the bum back as you fold, finding your half splits on this side. Remember, you can walk those hands back as close to your body as feels good. Send the bum back. You're peeling this left hip back and round. And then maybe kind of as you give yourself time in this and as you start to deepen, that's when maybe you can walk your fingers forward, where you can reach yourself down a little further. You can see I've always got a little bend in my knee. I'm never fully like hyperextending it, right? Always got a little bend, a little softness. Take one more breath here. And then can you start to walk both hands over to the left hand side as you take those left toes to the side, coming to like the side of that foot. Keep peeling that left hip back. You've got a little rise in the chest here. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Stretching in all parts of legs. Keep breathing deep. I promise it helps. <laughs> One more breath. <laughs> And then gently walk yourself back. Oh boy, <laughs> bend into that front knee, <laughs> sink forward, lift your back knee, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, shift over into your plank, lower your knees and lower your body all the way down to the mat. So you're all the way on the floor. Now this time, instead of coming into that cobra, we're gonna lay the right arm out to a T shape. So hand is in line with shoulder. Left hand is underneath my left shoulder. So it's just that right arm that's out to the side. Now lift your left toes up towards the ceiling. Lift your knee, your thigh up and take those toes all the way over to the left when you're, no, the right when you're on your belly, the left now you're facing the side. <laughs> take those toes over. <laughs> and they might not hit the floor, they might dangle there, that's cool. You're feeling this really big stretch in that right shoulder. Keep breathing here. Can you press into this left hand to roll your left shoulder back? And you could lift that left hand up and wrap it behind your back, only if it's helping you to roll this left shoulder back and create a bit more space. Oh yeah, take a big breath here. This is one of my favorites. I think from like loads of time spent sitting over a laptop, curling myself up, it just feels glorious. <laughs> oh, take one more breath. Really roll that left shoulder back. And then if you have got that left hand wrapped, bring it all the way back through, roll onto your belly. Bring this right hand underneath you and send the left arm out to the side. So we're taking it straight over to the other side. Lift your right toes up towards the ceiling and keep lifting until they step all the way over, maybe hovering. And press down into that right hand as you roll your shoulders back. You really want to make sure that this left hand is in line with that shoulder because that's gonna kind of really give you that big, lovely stretch. Keep breathing here. It's gonna feel like a lot if you've got tight shoulders. So keep that breath going. Maybe you lift that right hand all the way up and wrap it back behind you. One more breath here, roll that right shoulder back. And then really gently, if you've got that right hand around you, bring it all the way back and down, roll onto your belly. 
And just bring your hands underneath your forehead like a little pillow and wiggle your hips from side to side. Yes. Deep breaths here. Now bring your hands underneath your shoulders and inhale, press up to your knees, tuck your toes and lift your hips high to a downward facing dog. And can you lift your right toes and cross them behind the left toes? So that right foot is coming behind the left and settling on the floor on the left hand side. And then can you send your heels over to the left and press your bum with them? This really huge stretch through the body. You're still in that downward facing dog. Just stretching yourself over, lovely. And then bring it back to centre, uncross that right foot. And then we're gonna send the left foot over to the right hand side of the right foot. So crossing it behind, sending the heels over to the right, pressing your hips over to the right. Oh yeah, big old stretch. And then bring yourself up to centre, uncross that foot. We're gonna bring our knees down to the mat. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, but we're not gonna be here long. We're gonna bring your left knee to kind of the center, and then can you bring your right knee in front of left? So like knee is stacking on top of knee. You might kind of wiggle yourself up so you've got a bit of a way to go back. <laughs> so right knee is in front of left. Take your feet kind of wide out to the side or as wide as the mat. And then you're gonna to start to sit yourself back. Now, it might not look like mine at all, <laughs> okay? So that might have been a lot more, uh, I don't know what the word is. It might have looked really different as you started to sit back, okay? <laughs> That's totally okay. This is a really tight hip stretch. We're gonna get our right knee on top of left. It might look, so you might have this right knee all the way up into the chest. There might be lots of distance. You might not have much distance at all. You might be sat straight up. Wherever you are, concentrate on stacking those knees, even if there's space between them. Maybe you press your hands down into your feet, roll your shoulders back, lift your chest. Let's find a breath here. As you sit up tall, really stretching into the hips. If this is really, really um, not nice <laughs> for you and it's not feeling good, you might feel good to lay that bottom leg out. Some people it can kind of help, uh, like the adjustment of the hips, it feels a little nicer. It also may not, <laughs> so just, just breathe. You've got it, we're not here for much longer. Okay, now here is the fun bit, or a bit where I could, <laughs> I could lose you. <laughs> we're gonna find this exact pose, but on the other side. So we're gonna start twisting to the left. So keeping the feet the same place, I'm kind of leaning into my right foot. I'm twisting to face the back of the mat. My knees are now kind of facing that way and then twist over to the left all the way round. I sit down and magically my left knee is on top of my right. Complete magic. <laughs> yes, who knows how. This might be completely different on this side. Remember, you might have space between your knees. They might be quite close, but you're sitting up tall here, rolling the shoulders back and anchoring those knees towards each other. Lovely little hip opener since we opened the hips earlier on. I thought it'd be rude not to visit this pose really. This is like one of my favorite poses. <laughs> I think I always over egg this and you, you might not find this funny, but its Sanskrit name is Gomukhasana. Um, and it's known as, uh, I guess, English translation-ish is cow face pose. And it just makes me laugh because go moo. It's like go moo the noise that a cow makes, and it's cow face pose. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> take one more deep breath here. I love that, I just think it's great. It's such an easy way to remember it. And then gently separate the legs out, cross the ankles, and press your hands over. And I want you to just take your knees back, Keep your shoulders over your hands as we find a half plank here. So you've got a kind of straight spine. You could cross your ankles. Shoulders are over. Now, can you come down to your forearms? 
<laughs> yeah, nice. And then release your hips all the way down to the mat. Send those legs out long. We're in a sphinx pose. And we're stacking shoulders over elbows, really spreading those fingers on the hands. The fingers are in line, or the hands, the palms are in line with the elbows. Roll the shoulders back as you lift the chest here. Take a deep breath, press the hips and the tops of the feet down into the mat. And you almost are kind of like gripping the mat to pull it back towards you to really roll those shoulder blades together. Now, can you bring that right palm to the center of the mat? So it's your right arm is kind of at a diagonal now. And then reach your left arm all the way back to maybe grab a hold of your left foot. Yes. If you've got a hold of the foot, then you're pressing the foot into the hand, rolling that left shoulder back, and then maybe kind of doing those two things at the same time, pushing foot into hand, but pushing foot towards the bum. Yeah. Or if you can't reach it, you're reaching back towards it, rolling your shoulder back and reaching towards that foot. Take one more breath here. And then gently release the foot. Bring the hands back down. Take that right hand out in front of your elbow, back to your Sphinx pose. Roll shoulders back, lift the chest. And then take that left palm to the center, so that diagonal shape. Right hand out in front of you, and then reach it all the way back to grab a hold of that right foot. Maybe pressing that foot into the hand, rolling your shoulder back. Taking deep breaths here, reaching towards that foot. Yeah, still finding that twist. Whoa. Keeping the breaths deep here. And then really gently let go of the foot. Oh, reach the hand back in front of you. Place those hands in front of those elbows once more for your Sphinx pose. And then press into your palms, lift the elbows and release it all the way down to the floor. Just make that little pillow for your forehead again and just breathe. Maybe wiggle your hips from side to side to just release out that lower back. And then maybe you lift your feet up towards the sky and you just bring your feet from side to side like windscreen wipers. Yeah, just easing it out, lovely. And then maybe you bring your knees as wide as the mat, bring the soles of the feet together and then press the feet down towards the mat. You can still be down on that little pillow here that you've created. Just finding some final stretches into the body. A lot of hip work today. And then gently release the legs out behind you. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Press all the way up. And just come and sit back onto your heels. If you have got a block or you use a block for this, feel free to sit there. If you really find it super uncomfortable sitting back on your heels, you can always sit in a, in a cross-legged position here. And I just want you, maybe like me, to connect left hand to belly, right hand to belly, <laughs> left hand to heart. Oh, you can tell that I'm, I'm starting to zone out now, right? I'm feeling <laughs> relaxed and chilled, <laughs> ready to let my mind wander. Roll those shoulders back, really sit up tall, lift the crown of the head, maybe close the eyes and just come back to those really deep breaths again, maybe in through the nose and out through the mouth, in through the nose and out through the mouth, in through the nose. out through the mouth and just let that breath return to one that's more natural.
and just take a moment to check back in. See how you're feeling, what's changed and what's still the same. Might be a mix of the two. And then just bring your palms down to your thighs. And gently back open the eyelids. You could head down to your mat and go back to where we began, laying out in your Shavasana and kind of really letting yourself have that chill, have that space. Or if you have got something to run to, please just try and take a couple of moments and take it gently. I hope you've enjoyed it. Nice little flow wherever you are in your day, sending you so many good thoughts, especially if you're having a day where things don't feel so great. And I'll see you next time.